Hello, everybody, and welcome to Adjusting Your Luminex or Diamante. Even if you don't have a Luminex or Diamante, I know you'll get some information of value out of this uh, training video. So thank you for attending. My name is Todd Schlutt. I'm the District Sales Manager for Indiana, Illinois, Missouri, and Western Ohio. So welcome. Today we're going to be talking about adjusting the machine and there are two kinds of adjustments. We have physical adjustments and we have electronic adjustments. We're going to start out talking about the physical adjustments. The first one we're going to talk about is depth of stroke. Um, so uh, what this knob will do on the left on the outside of the machine will adjust how high the keys are and how low they are and which uh, changes the travel distance. So if we roll the left knob up away from us, you'll see the keys rise up and it'll be a longer stroke. And when we roll it down towards us, it'll become a shorter stroke. And what's the difference? Maybe I'm a pounder, I'm heavy handed. I need a longer stroke to be a little more forgiving so I'm not dragging in extra letters. Maybe I have a really light touch and it's hard for me to get the keys to register, so a shallower stroke will help that because there's less distance to travel. The next one we're going to talk about is the tension. So what the tension is all about is, is it a firm feel or is it a soft feel? Some people call it tight or light feel. So the knob on our right, tension, if we roll it up away from us, it becomes a tighter, firmer feel. If we roll it down towards us, it becomes a softer or lighter feel. Uh, the way I remember this is sometimes people are up tight. So when I roll it up, it's tight. Um, what's the advantage, disadvantage? Again, if I'm heavy handed, if I'm a pounder, I probably want a tighter feel, a firmer stroke, so that I'm, again, not dragging in extra keys that I don't mean to, and vice versa. If I have that light touch, I, I want less resistance, so it's easier for those keys to show up. Now that we're talking about keys, let's talk about actual adjusting individual keys. All right, so we're talking about adjusting letters, keys, individual keys that drag in. That means they're showing up when I don't want them to show up. Or letters that drop, letters that aren't showing up when I'm hitting them. Remember these days? Yeah, we're long past that. We do that electronic now. So it's much easier, much more precise. What I'd like to do right now is I'm going to go live to my Luminex and walk through the menu and show you how to do these individual key adjustments. All right, so this is the opening screen. I've turned on my Luminex. I can see that the off button is here, so I know I've just opened it up. If I had a file open, it would say file open or beginning a file, and I'd have some strokes on it. You can make changes while you have a file open if needed. Um, it's just that the menus are a little different. But you hit, you go to the same menus, they're just in a different order. So we're going to do this from just turning on our machine. Um, you can hit pause now, go get your machine, and follow through. Uh, follow me through this. So we're going to hit setup. So we hit the setup button, and then we're looking for a keyboard. So I don't see it, so I'm going to hit more. And there it is. So I hit keyboard and then I hit adjust because that's what I'm going to do. I want to adjust my individual keys. So I'm going to hit individual uh, adjust keys. So this is what it looks like behind the scenes. As you see, these are all my keys. They're all at zero. My horizon line is all even. Don't worry about if you have blue here, or if some are blue, some are not. If I make an adjustment to my depth, you see that changes. These are dynamic. So when we build your machine and we get all those sensors in there, we calibrate the machine so that they all relate to each other in the same way. Um, but the blue lines will never be equal, again, because they're dynamic, but it's calibrated. So that's why it's important when you get your machine serviced serviced by a stenograph technician at stenograph so that we can 
calibrate and that we have the parts to replace anything that needs to be replacing. So to adjust our keys, so let's pretend that we got that pesky P, the final P. It's always dragging in. I don't want it to show up, but it keeps showing up. So what I'm going to do is press and release the key I want to adjust. So see how it marks it? That means I'm adjusting the P. I either make it more sensitive or I make it less sensitive. Do I want it to show up more or do I want it to show up less? Well, pesky P showing up when I don't mean it. I'm dragging it with my finger. So I want it to show up less. So I hit less and see how my number goes negative. It's very precise. And that means I'm making it less sensitive. You can also see that the horizon line changes. It goes up. That means it's going to take more travel before that key registers. So therefore, it is less sensitive. Now you see I brought it to 10. If, if I'm at zero and I need to adjust this key for the first time, we suggest go ahead and get in there and make a good adjustment, a level 10 adjustment. There's 30 adjustments here. So level 10 is a good starting point. If it's not good enough, then I come back in and I jump it up five. I bring it to 15. If that's not good enough, I bring it up to 20, another five. If I've gone too far, now I can come down in those small ones and two increments because I'm fine tuning. Let's talk about the key that doesn't show up when I need it to show up. Maybe my ring finger, I was playing softball and I broke it really hard for me to get that L. It doesn't show up when I hit it. So I need it to show up more. So I'm going to hit more. Again, the numbers change by increments. And this one is positive because I'm making it more sensitive. And you can see the line comes down because more sensitive means it's going to make contact sooner with less effort. And that's kind of what that means. So there we go. I've made them one more sensitive, one less sensitive, just by hitting more and less. That simple. I do want to hit done to get out of this menu. Now this menu, I'm going to really encourage you to call support before getting making adjustments in here. If you don't have support with your writer, give me a call. I'm your salesperson and I'm your go-to person. I can help you out with this. Um, Again, if you're not on a contract, we want you to be on a contract, protect the machine in case something goes wrong. But, um, you know, if you're not, you need a little help, I'll help. I'm going to go through this one really quickly because all we're doing here is changing timing. We're changing the timing of the keys. We're changing the timing of the stroke. We're changing the timing when it registers. So that's why, you know, we need to ask questions. We need to look at your steno x-ray file before we determine what we're going to do. Many times I'm talking to people and they're having, they're struggling with their machine. And I find out when I look at their menu, they've made adjustments that really have compounded things. So again, I encourage you to call me or support. So let's start. My highlights on keyboard sensitivity, right below it, it tells me what it's gonna do. It's changing the whole keyboard to be either more or less sensitive. If I go down one to split stack, this is when I'm changing the timing for if I'm stacking. That means I have two separate strokes, but I wrote them so close together, they became one. So I'm changing the timing of that. So it would be less stacking. Or I might split. You know, that, and that's when I'm writing one stroke, but one hand comes down and that registers before the next hand comes down and the machine splits them. And then transition time. Uh, let me go down there. Transition time. That is fine tuning the number of milliseconds between one stroke and then the registration of the next stroke. So again, these are really changing timing and the way the machine is reacting. So it, it, it does take, you know, we want to make sure we're adjusting for the right stuff. You can get in here, you can try this, you can't, we won't break anything coming in here and doing it, and I don't mean physically breaking, but you can come back, come down and change the no to yes, and it'll change these back to balance, balance, and eight milliseconds. 
And by the way, if I have one highlighted and I hit the plus or minus, it's either it's going to go like more sensitive or less sensitive. It's going to go less stacking or less splitting. So you just hit the plus or minus and it changes. Now you'll see when I get out of this menu, since I made a change, it's asking me, would you like to save this information to a profile? Now it's not asking me, do I want to save? It's asking me, do I want to save it to a profile? Most people would just say no here. It saved what I did, but I don't have to name it as a profile. If I'm sharing my machine and I have settings and then somebody else has them, then I could do profiles. Or if I really have a dramatic change from my settings in the morning to afternoon, then I might set up my profile. But here I'd say no. Now, if I go back and look just to let you know, even though I said no, it saved everything. Okay. I always like to point out that message because it does get confusing. These are where the profiles are listed. You see, I don't have any, they're all empty, but I would end up saving fingerspelling and that would be my profile. And then I could load a profile if I was gonna make those changes. All right, well, that is, uh, that's, kind of, that's our session. I wanna thank you for your time. I wanna thank you for what you do. Court reporters, captioners, cart providers, it's an amazing talent. It's an amazing skill set. Not everybody can do it. But we, I, Stenograph, appreciate what you do. Do not hesitate to give me a call. I'm glad to help out in any way. Uh, this is my contact information, or you can just call our main 800 number, ask for Todd, and uh, I'll come to the rescue. Thank you very much, and enjoy the rest of your day.